Good morning, friends. Today is Friday, June 2nd, and um, I'm about to go in the garden. I need to harvest some things, and I need to water, and I thought I'd take you all along for a little garden update because right now the garden is changing so much. Like, it has changed so much in this past week, and I thought you all would like to see it. So, um, here's what we're looking like from a distance. Okay, here's the okra. It has grown so much. And yeah, it looks like something's eating it, but I think I think it's gonna be okay. I think it'll make it through. Look at all the banana peppers. I harvested so many last time and I think we're about to get uh, about the same many. And here's what's left of the garlic. I think I'm going to, um, I may give that a couple more days and then I'm going to pull it up. Um. Here's this big old radish I left to see if it would go to seed. Oh yeah, where's the radishes I planted between the garlic? Yeah, see they're doing okay. There's one. Well actually that's two. There's one there. There's one and there's one. So they're coming up. We'll see how they do. And we have some eggplants. Might be about ready to harvest. Look at that. We picked one the other night and I picked it. Um, tried roasting it. It came out okay. If you have a favorite eggplant recipe, um, put it down in the comments because we're, we're always looking for new ways to try eggplant. And this is actually the first year I've gotten these um, black beauties. The past few years I've grown the, the longer, the long skinny ones. And um, so these will be a little bit different for us. So share your recipes. And so I just picked this last garlic that was in this little bed. And this is where I planted the two um, mystery cantaloupes. And I guess I haven't been watering as often because one has shriveled and died. The other one's still going. I've been trying to water every day, but I did miss, um, I missed yesterday. And it is so hot and so dry right now. Look at all the serrano peppers. They are doing so good. And there's another eggplant. It's hard to see with the lighting this way, but, um, see, look at them all. Looks like we'll need to harvest some soon. The jalapenos, though, are not, um, they don't have any peppers that I see yet. They have, I see flowers. Oh, well, there's some baby peppers. Little baby peppers. So they're coming. Just a little slower. Oh, well, there's a big old eggplant in there. And all the um, various peppers that I planted in here. I actually was really excited to come check these. I forgot that I had planted these. They're like purple bell peppers excited about that. And the Anaheim chilies. And I thought I had, um, yeah, there they are. Look 
there. I think those are poblanos. Okay. And what I really knew I had to come out and harvest today is going to be cucumbers and some tomatoes. So here's how, I'm going to show you how we're looking and then I'm going to take a break from video and so I can harvest um, the cucumbers still have whatever this is, but they are still, you can see they're still growing up over the trellis. The tomatoes are looking, looking good except for the stink bugs that are always on them. Look, there's a big old cucumber. And another cucumber. You might remember how I thought this was a black beauty because of the purple shoulders. Because I th And I was confused because I thought I had planted um, lucid gems here and then green zebras there. Well, I do have green zebras and another green zebra. And this is a lucid gem. Look how pretty it is. Um, so I don't know how that ended up, how I ended up with three green zebras and one lucid gem. But I'm excited because I've never tried lucid gem. And so I think this one is ready. I mean, it's um, faciated. But I think it'll still be good enough that we can we can try it and so that just means it had multiple um multiple blooms and so it made multiple tomatoes all joined in and um so some of the parts closest here might not be great but i think it'll be good enough that we can taste it so that's exciting because it does have more more on the vine that aren't um, as faciated as this. I just let this one grow because I thought it'd be fun. And I'm glad I did because it came out and we'll be able to taste it. Oh, and look. See, the, um, the marigolds have just, <laughs> since I trimmed them back, they have just popped right back up. Look, we have, we have blooms again, even on the one that I kind of, kind of thought I went too hard on. So that's good, and the basil's doing doing its thing. Um, we do have the green beans have flowers. I just haven't seen very many beans. The strawberries are still occasionally putting out a berry, but they've been kind of small and and seedy. Which I mean, it's been super hot for them. The strawberries have started sending out their runners, which I'm excited about because that's next year's plants, so that's good. Okay, and then look at these Kushal squashes. I mean, this thing has gone up and over the trellis. And let's go in there and see. I'm pretty excited. Got one growing down right in the middle. I need to put this back up there. And go a little vine. But this big one. Yeah. Look how. I don't want to move it too much, but look how big it is. That is a big squash. And that's a Kashal squash. Um, one of my friends had traded me a little plant. And it is pretty big. That is exciting. We have more tomatoes on the inside of the trellis, more cucumbers. See all the cucumbers? Um, and we've been picking them. And, you know, we've been eating them and sharing them. More marigolds. They're so pretty. 
This one needs to be trimmed back too. I haven't gotten around to trimming them like I said I would yet. There's another big old cucumber. More tomatoes. Oh, that one. Oh, look, there's one too. They needed to be picked probably a couple days ago. It's okay. They'll get eaten. Okay, I'll show you what I got from the first row. I got my breakfast. A handful of strawberries. We have 10 cucumbers, a tomato, and a garlic. So now I'm going to go around, I'll go around to the next row, um, and we'll see what, what's going on over there. Okay, first thing is, this is the, um, the great white tomato plant I had pulled up from the first part of my, my last trellis row over there. Um, and all these tomatoes were still very green, and I don't really have a space to... Well, I just didn't want to bring them inside, so I left them out. It looks like it's gotten sun damaged a little bit, but I think we might still be able to eat them. I just hung the plant upside down over here, and um, thought I would leave it here and just see if they turn. It wouldn't wouldn't be hurting anything. And they feel soft, so I think they've they've ripened, and these are still ripening. I might just leave them there um, and see what happens. Okay, on to the to the row. I guess row two. Well, whatever number you want to call this. The other side of the second cinder block row, second trellis row. Um, I have a tomato to pick. I believe these are the big reds. I don't want to leave it out much longer than this just because I'm afraid something else will eat it. And so it can continue ripening um, on the counter. But isn't that a pretty tomato? I like to leave them out here to ripen on the vine, but um, sometimes I get a little nervous that something will eat them. And there are still strawberries if you can't can't see them. And yes, I, I know I need a weed. I really haven't been in the garden much the last few days. And so there's actually a lot of tending that needs to be done. There's another cucumber. Something is eating these tomatoes again. <clears throat> so that's no good. I definitely have to come out here and um, <sighs> pick away, find the worms. I'm sure that's what it is, and pick them off and pull the weeds, trim the marigolds. There's another strawberry. <clears throat> Let's check the beans. And look, a little bean. Look, we have beans. Yay! Oh, look, that one's... Oh, sorry, putting the leaves all in here. Look. Oh, that's exciting. We have some beans. I don't see any other tomatoes. Oh, there's a cucumber. These marigolds are so tall. Um, there's the dwarf variety I planted. And the not dwarf. So, need to cut those back for sure. Well, that might be it on this row. Look, the, uh, <laughs> the cashel squash has grown up and over and now it's trying to take over the rest of the garden. 
So I am going to force it to let go of my marigold. And I'm going to send it back up here. It needs to go that way. It needs to go that way. Let go. There we go. I might go ahead and weave it through up here too. There we go. I don't think it's happy with me, but that's how it's going to have to be. I can't have it trying to take over the whole garden. I guess I better turn this one too. that'll go that way y'all this is why I like to pick the tomatoes early look at that something sat here and just enjoyed that tomato could have been a bird or a mouse oh look at all the bugs this is tomato vine I bet sure did. It sat there and mm. that's why even though I'd prefer to leave them on the vine most of the time I go ahead and pick them. Okay I got a few strawberries. I'll save these for the kids and I picked a few green beans and one more cucumber. So now let's see. Uh oh my basket's getting heavy. I might just I might just have to leave that there. Here's the next row. Again, the cucumbers are growing up and over. If you look close, you can see them starting to grow from the top. Which is exciting because at the beginning of the season, I thought I was going to lose all my cucumbers. So, I'm really happy. There's a cucumber. There's a cute up oh, two two cucumbers there. I don't know if you can see them. There they are. And some oh, one, two, three there. Another one down there. There's a few little ones. Okay, I need to look in all of these beans. There's some little ones. Oh, I see a few big ones. Oh, look, there's actually there's a few more big ones. Look at that. Most of those are ready to pick. There's a few more. See right there? That one's kind of small. I see a big, some big ones back here. So I definitely need to come through and pick the green beans. Um, these are the black beauties. <gasps> oh, y'all look. This, hmm. There's another cucumber. <sighs> and another cucumber. But look at that. Well, you really should be in your garden every day. I just... It doesn't always happen. In fact, most of the time it doesn't. I do try. Oh, but something sat there and ate that tomato too. <sighs> sad. Sad, sad. But the chickens will be happy. They'll eat the rest of it. Look at that big old cucumber. We still have quite a few tomatoes on here that are ready. So I'm going to pick those and go through the green beans, and we'll see what we have. Y'all, y'all, I lost track of the number of cucumbers, and they took over my basket. So there's the, the pretty tomatoes and the green beans, which is already more than I expected, really. 
and the strawberries and the garlic. Um, so even though I haven't tended to my garden like I should the past few days, it is still like things want to grow and they want to produce. And so sometimes you just have to give them the space. And then even if you can't tend how you're supposed to, they they grow anyway. Gar this is not perfect gardening. This is uh, my real life gardening. And so I'm going to send this vine maybe back through here. And then I wanted to show you all the inside here because I already picked um, two or three out of the inside that I really wasn't expecting. And I saw some more. Maybe there's a couple more. It's the tomato growing, growing wild. There's another cucumber. Oh, there's more. You see them? <laughs> Definitely will be sharing the cucumbers. There's another. There's one in between. This fencing, if you're if you're wondering why we have this smaller fencing in between the or in front of the cattle panels, it's because um, for a little while we had to separate one of our roosters, and we didn't have a spot for him. And it was the, during the winter, and I didn't have anything growing, so we put up. Um, this fencing and then we we closed off an end and we put him a little house in here and we use this as a pen and then I didn't everything started growing before I came back and took this off so it's just here for this season anyway that's the story there's more cucumbers and more cucumbers and a few more strawberries and see, here's the um, the Malabar spinach. It's growing up. It really is pretty, and it makes these pretty little flowers that turn into little berries that the kids like to squash and paint things with. Um, and it's so determined. I I just decided I would leave it grow. It's their volunteers from last year. <clears throat> I haven't shown y'all this back row yet. The kale is really having pest pressure, and so I'll probably cut it back pretty hard. Um, let the chickens have a bunch of leaves, and we'll harvest a bunch too. But it still looks magnificent, doesn't it? <laughs> and then there's uh, more cucumbers over there that we'll look at in a minute. And the tomatoes peeking out. Okay. Here's the next row. And I planned to come do the marigolds and I didn't do it. Things things happen. The strawberries. I always have a million things planned and then what actually happens is usually something different. Well, that looks like Things are getting a little droopy over here. So that's a cucumber vine. Maybe finally giving up. Look at that tomato. And some more strawberries. Not much else happening on this row. I do have, I don't know what that is, but last year I had, um, what did I have here? I had patty pan squash and a few other things. And like maybe it's, it could be some kind of Mixed breed volunteer. I don't know, but it looks like it's about to flower. Oh, it is. Look. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it grow. Something's making trails in it, but gosh, I'm just so curious. Um, I'm gonna let it grow, and we're gonna see. And there's a squash I did plant. And no, I don't remember what kind. I planted um, acorn squash and. 
I feel like I might have planted a new, another patty pan. And I'm not sure. Oh, I did plant a butternut. But I didn't write down where I planted which. So I'm not sure what that is. But it's a squash. And I just saw that on this row, I think, the squash I had planted here. Yep, look. It's coming up. Both of them are. This is, I think this is one. Yeah. So one's already heading up the trellis. Oh, you know, this might be, I did plant the Kajari melons too. So this one going up might be the Kajari melon. I'd be excited if it was. Okay, a few more strawberries, a few more cucumbers. Um, on to the last couple of rows. So I did... Oh, um, out of this row, y'all saw me pick all the red onions. And um, so I chopped those up. And the little bulbs I had... So, so many of them were like divided into like three separate conjoined um, bulbs but anyway I chopped them up and um, we used the the bulb part within a few we do I just used the last of them yesterday the greens I cut up and dehydrated and I'll see if I can show you all a picture of how that turned out and I'm really excited about that because um, there were so many greens uh, the um, you know the tops of the onions and um so i dehydrate i washed them i i cut them i washed them and i spread them out on the dehydrator and they dried so great and so we will have that to use you know for a long time i filled up a big jar and then um similarly with the bueno malata peppers you know i had so many of those i cut them up well i cut them open and i dehydrated them and um and then i ran them through the blender and uh and i put them in a jar and so now we have our own pepper flakes and they're kind of pretty and the guys in my house who like hot things are really happy with them and they want more um so i may with this next harvest make a whole second jar and we will probably have enough i mean i imagine that'll be enough for for a year and so that is super exciting that's uh a thing that we buy that i won't have to buy this year so that's great and look at that sunflower that's pretty exciting okay look at these eggplants isn't that beautiful i love growing eggplant and it's so pretty with the the purple peppers and the purple eggplant makes me happy And then there's more. And then I have got to get in here and clean up these cayenne peppers. But you can see there's some red ones. And what will probably happen is um, I will pick the ones that are ready. Oh, my eggplant's kind of falling over too. Oh, look at that eggplant. Anyway, um, I'll probably pick the cayenne peppers that are ready. The next time I pick the purple ones, and um, I'll just dehydrate those and put them in with the pepper flakes that I'm making. They're so pretty, though. Another eggplant. Definitely share your eggplant recipes. And then here's the scorpion peppers with the nasturtium in the middle. Um, oh look, there'll be some little baby ones, and then the habaneros, they are making peppers too, look at that, and this still needs to be weeded, and I'm going to plant the um, cow peas here. 
This basil smells so good. And this is where I cut back all the Swiss chard. And it's growing back just fine, but I think it's um, still getting eaten a little. But let's see how it does. More basil. And the Roma tomatoes. Still looking like they're getting eaten. Um, I don't know. Oh man. That's probably not great. I am super excited about the sunflower though. It makes me happy. Oh yeah, and the little pumpkin I planted. The other one didn't come up. Probably because I haven't been watering as much as I should for new seedlings. And the same thing over here. I planted um, cantaloupe and they didn't come up. But again, probably also because I haven't been watering as much as I should. And this poor thing, again with not watering, and being in the corner, I don't think even when I turn on the sprinkler it's getting as much as it needs. The chamomile. Oh no. I need to go tend to the chickens. Looks like some of our big chickens got in the teenager pen. Okay, and here is the back row of the garden. The pretty zinnias. My yellow squash. <sighs> Look at that. I think that was a bird. <sighs> the one squash. And it was pecked. That's frustrating. Oh, gross. Well, well that's going to the chickens. I called for reinforcements. My daughters are tending to the big chickens that got into the baby chicken coop. I love these flowers. It's the strawberry blonde calendula. And they're just happy. Oh. Oh dear. That one might need to be eaten today. Ow. More cucumbers. And more cucumbers. <laughs> and some down there. Y'all, it is, it is the year of the cucumber. <laughs> There's these other squash plants and zucchini. This is, this is, this one's a squash. And I think this one is a zucchini. They actually look pretty good. Four bachelor buttons. And then that's about it. This tomato plant that I still have not tended to. Y'all, I know. I know. Gosh, Maggie, what are you doing? Well, I am raising a family. And sometimes the garden just is last on the list. But look how pretty it is. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pick these last few cucumbers and get started with the rest of my day because I did not put my hair up or anything um, purposely so that I wouldn't get lost in the garden and start doing things because I have other stuff I have to get done today. Um, so until next time, I'll see y'all later.